16 year old Samuel Bilaboneye, resident of Kanyanya in Kawempe Division in Kampala, is a patient of multiple organ failure. His father tells NTV that his son started falling sick about three years ago. Doctors discovered that Samuel's kidneys, the liver and the heart all had defects. Today as the country marks the World Heart Day, it is people like Samuel who come to mind. Styles. Lifestyle, lifestyle. The body is such a good economist. It balances its books every day. You are input, what you put in through the mouth, and what you burn on the other side through exercise. If they don't balance, the body remains with excess uh, diet, excess carbohydrates, which it converts, if you have a normal liver, to fats, cholesterol. I met Samuel and his father at the Uganda Heart Institute in Mulago Hospital. Three years since he was diagnosed with multiple organ failure, the father of six cannot afford his treatment, and Samuel's siblings no longer attend school. We want to go to Ngoza. 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 Samuel is not alone in this fight against liver disease, kidney, and the heart. Amongst adults, one in every four adults moving around has a raised heart pressure, and that is a heart disease. Recently, government beefed up the capacity of the Uganda Heart Institute to call out open heart surgery. So the patients operated on yesterday. This one was yesterday and the other. This is open heart surgery, replacing the valves. However, this capacity, according to Dr. Magino, is underutilized. Majority of the patients seeking open heart surgery prefer to go to India. The Ugandans, let me even look in the camera, should come and look at what is happening and develop confidence in our own water systems. Dr. Magino says it costs about 17 million Uganda shillings to cut out open heart surgery in Uganda. But those seeking treatment abroad end up paying 68 million shillings. For one patient, we would handle four patients here. And in addition, we would get the opportunities for capacity development, teaching, training our people, conducting research. A Kenyan medical expert, Professor Khan Rogo, while giving a keynote address at the Health Sector Review meeting in Kampala today, said East African countries spend over 1 billion US dollars to treat over 30,000 East Africans abroad in countries like India. 1 billion dollars a year to India for 30,000 patients every year. How do you rationalize that? Between Nairobi and Kampala, there is no single proper diabetic clinic. Did you know that? The Auditor General Johnny Mwanga in 2014 revealed that Uganda incurs about 350 billion Uganda shillings on the treatment of government officials abroad. Dr. Magino says the government invests about 70 billion Uganda shillings in the Heart Institute annually, yet it requires about 23 billion Uganda shillings. The operational budget we have talking about is 7.5 7, 7 million dollars. And that is what message we have told. That money will target the 1,000 procedures. Jingo Francis, NTV.